A digital camera was a device of fascination during the 90s. The jump from analog to digital photography not only made cameras cheaper, but also improved the quality of photography. It felt like digital cameras were nearly irresistible and kinda the ultimate technological advancement for photography until we were introduced to smartphone cameras. With the arrival of smartphone cameras, the appeal of digital cameras started to kind of fade away from the market. But how could a multifunctional device like a smartphone replace a dedicated photography device like a digital camera? And why are smartphones getting so popular in the camera industry? All these are going to be discussed in this video. So with that being said, let's get started. The first phone to feature a camera was the Sharp JSH04 which included a 0.11 megapixel camera. At that time, many thought it was just a gimmick and a way to increase the price of a phone, while others were amazed to gauge the possibilities of it. Smartphone cameras were distinctly different from DSLR and point-and-shoot cameras in terms of quality until the arrival of iPhone 4 and 4S in 2011 which featured an 8 megapixel camera. It was also capable of shooting 1080p videos. It could shoot breathtaking images and videos which made it probably the first ever real opponent of digital cameras. Point and shoot cameras to be specific. It was the beginning of smartphone photography and phone manufacturers started to consider camera features as one of the main selling points. And with that trend, the sales of smartphones were increasing and it was taking a toll in the digital camera market. As you can see in the graph, by 2017, the market share of digital cameras was at the bottom. On the other hand, smartphones were thriving and gaining popularity in the camera market. And it was also stated by many industry experts. Take this Facebook post for example, in which the former senior vice president of Google, Vic Gandotra, said about the iPhone 7 that the end of the DSLR for most people has already arrived. But what about the quality? We all know smartphones have smaller sensors. Plus, those small phones can include bigger lens elements and interchangeability options. So how do smartphones keep up with the quality? Let's dig into that now. About the image quality, the first question is, to whom does it matter and to what extent? There was a time when smartphones couldn't match the quality of digital cameras. But now, this gap has been minimized significantly. Sometimes, it's really hard to spot the difference and tell whether it has been shot on a phone or on a digital camera. There is another tendency to zoom in a lot to see the picture quality and sharpness. But the truth is, almost nobody except a small portion of the photography community cares how the image looks at 100% zoom. On top of that, computational photography has made smartphone cameras more powerful than ever. As smartphone processors are getting more powerful day by day, software-based image processing is getting better increasingly, mimicking almost the same effect created by high-end optics. Besides, those software-based image improvements are convincing enough for most people out there. Computation photography has also improved low-light performance in smartphones, which was a big issue with the smaller sensor size. On top of that, smartphones are also finding ways of incorporating hardware-based improvements too. For example, the Aquos R6 features a 1-inch sensor which is a big step in smartphone photography and videography. Apart from that, smartphones have been doing extremely well with electronic stabilization for smooth footage. And with technological advancement, the mechanical gimbal has also been included in smartphones like Vivo X50. The most intriguing feature of a smartphone camera is its compactness. If you compare a digital camera with an attached lens and a smartphone, the difference is obvious. Plus, if you're roaming around and shooting, a bulky digital camera is going to hurt your hand. On the other hand, when you're holding a smartphone and shooting, you will barely feel any weight even if you hold onto your phone for a long time. Apart from that, most of the casual shooters out there who are not very much into precision shooting would find it quite difficult to take care of a backpack for carrying the cameras and other gear. Meanwhile, a smartphone is just the right size for your pocket. So for most people, a smartphone is the best option for those wanting to reduce extra hassle and weight during travel. Digital cameras might be daunting for a first time user. It certainly has a learning curve on which some people just don't want to spend much time. For those people, a smartphone is the only one way photography and videography solution. You just have to open the camera app, point the camera to your subject, tap to focus, and shoot. As easy as that. But with a digital camera, 
you have to take care of shutter speed, ISO, aperture and keep things in focus and the list goes on and on. Plus, smartphone is a multifunctional device. Besides photography and videography, it lets you do tons of things, we all know that very well. So why take along another device for something you can pretty much do with your smartphone? Why even spend bucks on something that you can already do with your smartphone? This is the main argument for many. Social media has played a vital role in popularizing smartphone photography. The main advantage here is you can click an image and share it on your social media account within a blink of your eye. Besides, social media sites have limitations on file size. As smartphones can produce images with smaller file sizes, they have become the first choice for most people on social media. So that was all about how smartphones have captured the most chunk of the digital camera market. From all the discussion, it is clear that most users are into ease of use, compactness where a digital camera lacks. To keep up, digital cameras are also getting sleeker day by day. Mirrorless cameras are taking the place of DSLR cameras. However, though most users prefer a smartphone camera over a digital camera, it doesn't mean that traditional digital cameras will be out of the market because of smartphones. There is always a place for those professional grade digital cameras for commercial and other high-end projects. And big budget cinemas of course where quality is an absolute priority. So what are your thoughts about the war between smartphones versus digital cameras? Who's going to win? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.